Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And um, for those of you who are new, well, welcome. So this is a review about my Louis Vuitton Lock Me, my Lock Me bag. And um, I got this probably about a month and a half or two months ago now, I think. I'm not sure exactly. But anyway, I've been carrying this a lot and I really love this bag. And I just wanted to share with you what goes inside and my thoughts about this bag so far. So let's begin. All right, so first of all, this bag, I already filled it with a lot of things that I normally wouldn't carry, but I wanted to show you what fits inside. Okay, so it has the handle. Now it's pretty heavy, it's loaded. And as you can see, the top part right here wrinkles a little bit. And I'll explain to you why in the future, uh, in a little while. And so this key bell, what happens is when I carry it, it flips to the back a lot like this and, and it just goes all over the place. And already I've noticed right here, the glazing is slightly peeling and there's a glazing issue right here. That's because a lot of times it just, just by carrying it, it just flips to the back. And I guess it rubs against the bag like this in the back. I'm not sure what happened. Anyway, so let's open this up. So it looks like this. Okay, let me just give you the measurements first. All right, I wrote this down. The handle drop from top to bottom is three and a half inches. From here to here, is about 10 and a half inches right here, edge to edge. And then from uh, the bottom edge to edge, from here to here, is about 11 and a quarter inches. And there's a pocket here, from pocket to pocket, is about nine and a quarter inches. So I'm not sure why, I mean, but so you can see it's slightly wider at the bottom, it's 11 and a quarter inches, and at the top is 10 and a half inches. And from side, from the side view, like that, it's four inches here. And then the height is about seven and a, seven and a half inches. So that's what that is. All right, so from back to here, it's about five inches. So from here to here is about four inches. And from here to here is about five inches. All right, so let's open this up. As you can see, I have a, um, pochette accessoire, mini pochette, a six key holder, and a key pouch here because I couldn't fit it in here. I mean, I could put it in here, but it wouldn't close. So I didn't put it in here. So let's see what I have in here. So as you, I open it up, there's a pocket here. And in this pocket, I put in a Josephine wallet. Granted, it's not filled up, so it's empty. And as you can see, the interior of the pocket is lined with this uh, microfiber and this side is leather. And then in this big pocket, this is the reason why I couldn't fit a lot of stuff in here. I have my Kate Spade uh, agenda that has a zippered closure. And this is equivalent to the, um, the paper inside is equivalent to the LV medium agenda. Um, I like this because it's like, I love this pink and it's zipped around so I can stuff it in there and nothing will fall out. Okay, so I removed that. So already there's a big like space in here. And here it says Louis Vuitton, Paris, made in France. And it's like silver letters. Then there is a slit pocket in here. And this slit pocket actually is holding the sides together so that when you turn the bag around, see right here, that is what the the side uh, the slit pocket is giving structure, so that doesn't move around. All right, so I have a little tiny mirror in there, and then I have my uh, four key holder that I put on there. Then I have a card organizer, and then I have another card holder, which is from Coach. Look at that, it's about three weeks old, and look, it's, look what's happening. This is from the outlet, by the way. 
And I mean, functionality wise, it's really nice. Look at this, I love the eyes. I have my cards and I put cash in here and I have an extra key in there. And if I have change, I can put it in there as well. That's why I really like this. It's thin and small. And then there's an exterior pocket for another uh, card or whatever. And then, as a lot of people asked, well, I guess a few, I don't have a lot of um, subscribers, so. But this one is a um, iPad, iPad 2, iPad Air. I don't know, this is my daughter's. But a full-size iPad goes in the front pocket, like this, with room to spare. And it also goes in the front pocket with room to spare. And even with the cover on, it goes in there. And I have a very, uh, my daughter has a very thick cover. And it goes in there, but it's kind of tight. So I didn't want to deal with it for the video sake. So now, as you can see, it's empty. And I just have in these two slip pockets right here. It's very black in there. It's very hard to see. And you can see every little speck of dirt and, not dirt, but like fuzz or whatever, you know, is on other products that just stick to the microfiber lining. And because it's, it's black, everything just shows up. And if you can't stand that, oh, this bag may not be for you. But it doesn't bother me too much. So this um, Louis Vuitton, okay, now this says lock me. And this is the price and the product code, my lock me. Then this just says what kind of leather it is cowhide leather man-made interior lining now in this instruction of how to take care of the um, leather since I've never owned a Louis Vuitton uh, cowhide leather this type of leather before I didn't know how to uh, take care of it so when I first got it I carried it in the rain you know when it was raining outside I didn't care because I have another leather bag um, it's a Sophia bag from um, Ferragamo and it's like a pebbled leather kind of like this and I carry it in the rain and snow and nothing really does anything to that leather so I figured it was very similar leather so I figured oh yeah I could probably wear this in the wet rain and stuff like that but um, the care instruction says it says right here only a minimal finish has been applied of selected skins right and then it says um Wait, there was a section that I'll, I'll look it up later on and, and I'll leave it on the description box below. But it kind of says, be careful and do not use it in rain. And I called client services and they told me not to use it in the rain. But the thing about it is I um, did some research on this type of leather. They told me that this was the, um, what is the leather? Oh, it's the same leather for the um, Capucine line. So the Capucine line um, handbags are like around 4,500 and up, whereas this was 29.10. And so the client service, client advisors, they were saying that this was such a good deal, which I thought so. When I first saw this at the store, I thought it was a good deal for this type of a bag because the leather was really squishy. And I didn't even know that it was a um, the type of leather that, I just can't think of the word um, that capucines are made of, but it's very similar to the Hermes's um, Togo leather. And so I did some research and Hermes Togo, Togo leathers are like, you can carry it in the rain, but you just need to wipe it down right away. You don't want the rainwater droplets to just kind of sit there, you know, doing its thing. So. I figured it would be safe and that's one of the reasons why I carried it in the rain and everything but then when I talked to the client advisors they um, advised me not to do it so now I don't know but so this is the back and the pocket oh it's got like like little tiny dirt on this black bag shows a lot as you can see I need to wipe that down I really didn't do a good cleaning job ever since I had it so I need to do a thorough cleaning. And this pocket is lined with um, microfiber as well, and it goes down to about here. So my phone just gets lost in here because it's so cavernous for a back pocket, which I thought I was gonna love, but 
I mean, I like the fact that, see how it gets stuck in here? It just goes everywhere. I thought I was going to love it, and I do because it's so functional. But I realized when I put my phone in here, sometimes, so I'm not used to having a bag with a huge back uh, zippered pocket. So even though I put it in here, sometimes, sometimes I don't realize I put it in here because I can't really feel, feel it when I'm carrying it. And I look inside the bag and I'm like, oh my gosh, where's my, where's my phone? And then I look in this pocket and it's in there. Because sometimes I, like in the winter times, I have a coat on and I put the phone in my coat pocket. And so between the front of the bag, the zippered pocket, where the phone gets lost, which is a good thing, I guess. It's better than being too small. And then having it sometimes putting in my pocket, I just like, I have to, when there's a phone call or whatever, I'm like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? So that's a con, even though it's a pro, if you know what I mean. So anyway, um, usually what I carry is... I would put my pochette accessoire in the front and then I would put my cash and extra card holder in here and my card organizer in here like that and then my keys in this front pocket and my mirror in here. Now this separation does not go all the way down so if you put something skinny it will go under the separation go to the other side or sometimes like if you put it in here like when you're fidgeting around sometimes it just I don't know what happens but it will like get like down in there and it's right under the separation and so you're like ah you're digging it out so that's another con about this bag um, I do like the fact that it is I mean, it's a pro and a con. It's a pro because if you have a flat item that you want to put under, then you can. I don't know. I don't have an item that I need to do that for. And this pocket, I just feel like I don't want to ruin it, so I don't really do anything. I just leave my product information in here, and that's it. Um, I really don't need to use this because I have this pocket. Like if I want to hide some feminine products or extra cash in here is hardly noticeable you know what I mean so that's it and that's usually what I carry it's very simple so the main thing is that the iPad goes in there this is very shiny and smooth now here right here it, this is usually a flat bag has a some sort of a structure put in here that is pretty hard so that it keeps this straight line shape. But with this bag, I can feel some sort of a boning, like if they put it in like haute couture outfits, like boning, it's kind of thick, about an inch thick like that, but it is soft. I feel like it's a, feels like a thick piece of leather that they may have put in between that and here, I can definitely feel it, but it's not hard enough so that when you carry it, sometimes a wrinkle forms like that in the on the top. However, for some reason, because of the way the straps are hooked here and the higher strap length when I'm carrying it, with the crossbody, it does not wrinkle which is kind of strange. So the hand, if you do the handle, it will eventually wrinkle. Sometimes it gets really wrinkled and all I just do is just massage the top like this and it goes straight again. But that's about the only um, bad thing, if you can call it that. I initially, when I realized that, and I hadn't used the bag before, I asked my daughters and my husband what they thought about it, and they thought that it looked like it had character, like it was, um, you know, like a very soft leather look. And so maybe Louis Vuitton maybe thought about that and tried to keep that soft, soft leather look to this bag. Maybe that's why they didn't put a uh, harder support on the top I don't know but so if you can see the sides are glazing 
which I don't love that idea, but we'll see what happens. And my concern is that because of right here where the sides touch the glazing over a period of time, I'm wondering if that might cause a problem, but so far it hasn't. And my other thing concern is the Louis Vuitton Paris uh, stamping right here. My concern is that maybe by, because I'm wearing it cross body most of the time, will it rub off? But so far it looks very crisp and I've worn it a lot. I wouldn't say every single day. Ever since I, you know, my husband says, do you wear that in the rain? <laughs> and then I call client services and, and they said, do not wear it in the rain. I haven't been wearing it in the rain, but it had rained a lot. So those are the times when I didn't wear it. This zipper, when you're looking for a bag, make sure that, like I didn't see this, but it's kind of like, like not straight. There are other bags that are straight, but I had to kind of, this was my fourth bag. And my first bag was a two colored one and I decided against it. For some reason, it wasn't sitting right with me. I didn't, I thought I loved it, but I didn't. So then I exchanged it with a black one. But then some of the bag, when I brought it home, I realized like, oh my goodness, this would be crooked. You know, like, it should be even. This this was crooked. And sometimes when you see it in the back, even though the bottom is slightly wider, it just made it look like the bag was wider at the top and narrower in the back. In this picture, it looks about the same. But see how this is sticking out right here? I am very picky. And this side is not sticking out right here as much. There were some bags that were really bad, really crooked. And you know, all they say is it's handmade, therefore there are gonna be inconsistencies, which I understand, but come on now. It's an expensive bag and I feel like it was just all workmanship. And then also sometimes like from the front, it just looked like it was kind of crooked. So be careful when you're looking for your own bag, watch out for those things. Like right here, make sure it's I mean, it, if it doesn't bother you, that's fine, but it bothered me. So in terms of size comparison, I used to own a Pouchette Matisse, but I don't anymore. So I can't do a comparison together. Um, but I, the only other Louis Vuitton bag that is similar in size, <laughs> closest possible, is my Alma BB. And see how it looks on, in terms of the height. And then, so then, side by side, so, but it fits a whole lot more than the Alma BB, a whole lot more. And it lays flat against the body when I'm cross bodying it because, because the leather is soft, when I'm cross bodying it, it just kind of pulls the weight up and it kind of becomes skinnier. See that? When you let it go, it just kind of squishes up, but when you lift it, it gets squishier, uh, skinnier, and then it just kind of lays flat against the body, which I love. And this bag, I think, I got it. It was, I usually do a lot of research and a lot of, like, thinking over, do I want this? And then I have to go, like, really, really crazy. I, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this. I have to get this. Then I get it. And one day I was just walked, I just walked into Louis Vuitton when we were visiting Saks Fifth Avenue because our Louis Vuitton store here is inside the Saks Fifth Avenue store. And my husband, he doesn't like to go like luxury bag shopping with me because I sometimes like go crazy. But anyway, we just, I said, let me just look. There's nothing I want because I've been looking at all the bags online and I really didn't love um, any of the stuff that I saw. And all the ones that I really wanted, they were all sold out. So I just wanted to go see what they had. And they had this on display. And I did see this online. But when it first launched online, this handle was longer. So it looked more utilitarian than being more like a cute bag. So it was like longer. But then they, ever since like, I don't know, they updated the pictures. So now it looks just like this. But when I saw it in the store with the shorter top handle, I was just like, oh my gosh, that's mine. Because I really liked the Pochette Matisse, but it was a little stiff for me. And the 
the strap attachment goes from side to side. And so even though this bag was um, not as wide, it, for my body, when the strap went up and I used the cross body, because the bag was stiff, it just, because the, the straps were wider apart than this one, where this one goes from handle to handle, um, so it's narrower, it just made me feel like it made me look bigger. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. So I might be just imagining things, but to me, it just seemed like the pochette Matisse made me look clunky and bigger. So I didn't like it. And um, at the time, they didn't have the uh, other versions of the pochette Matisse, and I was kind of worried about the Vachetta. And so I don't have it anymore. But with this one, it kind of reminds me of the pochette Matisse, but I really like the V-line. Of course, I consider the Lock Me 2 bags as well, but every time I wanted a black bag, they were sold out. And the fact that they didn't have a bag zipper it was kind of like, mm, I'll just wait and see what they have in the future. And when they came out with a bag that kind of looked like a Pochette Matisse, which I, my previous video, I said it was a Pochette Matisse alternative, because for me it was, because it had that same feel, aesthetic. Um, the front closure of this, I like a lot better than the Pochette Matisse because it's, you know, it's a turn lock. It's a little bit, because with my Pochette Matisse, when I was using it, it would always get undone and stay open. And I wouldn't know until somebody would tell me, your bag is open. I'm like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. This is an expensive bag and what's going on? You know, it should be, it should not do that. But anyway, that's a different story. And then of course the back zipper, I just, I just loved it. And so now when I'm in a kind of sketchy area, which I don't usually go, but if I feel like it's a little sketchy, you know, like, I don't know, um, that's a different, that's a different topic altogether. But if I feel like in any way that wherever I am, it's a little sketchy, I turn my bag around and this big LV logo doesn't show. And it's like this. And sometimes when I'm not, um, when I'm not, um, in a situation where I could just turn the bag over right away and I feel like kind of kind of weird, then I put my arm over here <laughs> and this goes in the back and my arm over and it's very inconspicuous. Nobody would know this was an LV bag. So I really like that. And I don't know, I just love the shape. When I saw it in the store, I just fell in love. The only thing, it doesn't have feet. See that? Yeah. So when I go somewhere and I have to go to the restroom, I have to have it cross-bodied so I can wash my hands. I will never put this on the counter. No way. So anyway, that was my review. Um, if I missed anything, please let me know and I will try to um, answer your questions. And if you are new to my channel and if you want to you know, subscribe, please do so. And if you like this video, please give a your thumb up and um, that would be great. I enjoyed doing this video. I wanted to do a thorough video and it took a long time because I was so busy over the holidays. My kids were coming back from, you know, all over the place uh, during the holidays and it's just so much to do during the holidays as you all know. So I'm very thankful that you guys were patient and there you go, another look. It's a beautiful bag. I really, this is my favorite bag. I really, oh, another story, quick one. I was really considering the Chanel um, Business Affinity Flap in the medium, I think, which is, I think the large one is about the size and slightly bigger, and then the medium is slightly smaller than this, but it was never in stock. I mean, I only saw it on YouTube. I never saw it in person. I never saw anybody carry it, but I loved the idea of the back pocket and also the flap with the lock closure, turn lock closure. And it's, if you think about it, this is very similar to the business affinity flap because it, when you open the business affinity flap, it also has this pocket, but the business affinity flap has a zipper. Now that's the part I didn't like. I was like, I would have to open, then unzip to get into this pocket. And I was like, I have no time for that. I really don't. So, and then the zipper and the way it wasn't, I like clean lines. 
if it's going to be a circle, it's going to be a circle. If it's going to be oblong, it's going to be oblong. If it's going to be a square, it's going to be a square. If it's going to be a rectangle, it better be a rectangle. So this has cleaner lines where the business affinity has some rounded corners. Some people like that, you know, because it's more feminine. But for me, I needed sharp corners. I just liked the angular design of this bag. So that's, that's that. And thank you very much for watching this video. And I'm sorry it took so long. Um, so until next time, bye-bye.